This tutorial will cover how to start using Tinkercad. I'm going to sign up. I'm going to use my normal email account that I use for the school. Enter my normal password. If you haven't made an account, make sure you sign up for one. It's totally free. I'm going to create a new design. All right, first thing I'm going to do is change my grid. I want to make sure my units are in inches because the first project is in inches. Click update grid. All right. On the right hand side are all your shape generators. Let's start with geometric and put a box down. We'll click the H button, the home button. All right, hold down control. I can pivot this. I'm going to bring this down to one quarter of an inch. And I'm going to bring this over to three fourths of an inch. Hit, hold down control. And now I'm going to pull this out to two inches total. Okay, down control. Now I got to be careful because if I click on this corner, as you can see, let's home it again. As you can see, it's actually five eighths of an inch. I want it to be three fourths. So I'll grab it and pull it out like so. All right. Now I'm going to find some text. Here's some text. Bring it over here. I'm going to change the text to my first name and the first letter of my last name with a period, just like so. I'm going to use major snafu text because I like how it laser cuts the best. Go ahead and zoom out. Now I'm going to shrink the size of this by grabbing that corner and holding down shift and I'll shrink it proportionally. All right, hold on control. Now I can use my arrow keys on my keypad. I actually can't see it because I shrunk it too much. So I'm going to increase the height of it a little bit. All right. Now I can use my keypad to move it. Like so. I'm going to turn snapping off over here so that I can move this incrementally so. So it's right in the middle. That makes it a little bit better. All right. And here comes the slightly tricky part, but it's tr pretty straightforward if you know how to do it. I'm going to click on my letters, but not the box. I'm going to make it into a hole. Select all of it. I will group it together. And as you can see, pushes it all the way through like so. Now I'm going to save my design. I can go to my Tinkercad main menu. Here it is. I can go to actions, properties, and I can rename it correctly. Last name, capitalize, space, first name, space. And we're going to call it assignment one. And we're going to call it stencil, because that's what we're going to make with it. Click Save Changes. And that's it. That's your first project. You will laser cut this later on in class once you download it to the instructor's computer.